Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. My meditation today is about perseverance. In our various lives, each one of us may come up against situations which call for a bit of perseverance in getting a task done or maybe undertaking something for a required result. In these COVID-19 days, we will be called upon to persevere even more in reaching out to help others, to worship away from a building and to keep our God in focus through prayer, despite the uncertainties. Perseverance really means being persistent, not giving up when some things are not going right when the road gets rough or dark or just plain troublesome and stressful. We keep on with determination despite the hardships we encounter. The driving force behind our decision to never give up often is because we know or feel or trust that our efforts will be richly rewarded at the end. Yesterday morning, I had a little bit of experience of the need to persevere. I had, I had set myself some handyman task on my roof to caulk a few nail holes, which, unless done, once the rain comes, can result in leaks. But everything seemed to go wrong. The apparatus I had to use did not work, the material I bought was not coming out from the tube, and what seemed to be an easy one-hour task soon became a bit of a stress. I felt like giving up, but then I decided to open up the equipment, oil it up and put it back together, and then send a slim stick into the tube to punch a hole in the substance, and bingo! that did the trick. So then I put everything back together and got the task done. My brothers and sisters, in our spiritual walk with God, we can face similar problems. The Bible says that following Jesus can invite hardship into our lives. But we are called to deny ourselves and to resist temptation that will take us off the path of salvation and righteousness. Lockdown days call for this as well. Some might feel pressured to do things against the emergency laws or to try to do something that may expose themselves or even their families. The idea is to keep safe for ourselves and our fellow men. You see, Jesus praised his followers for persevering and enduring hardships for his sake. And he encourages, encourages us today not to lose heart or throw in the towel. It is so easy to become discouraged in these days of lockdown, these days of the unknown, and the fear of an invisible silent killer that seems to be stalking all human beings worldwide where and how it will end we do not know but we know we have a christ who is steadfast in his promise never to leave or to forsake us and who sits at the right hand of the father making intercessions for us this morning brothers and sisters jesus encourages us not only to follow him regardless in season or out of season as sister susan often reminds us and that we need to persevere in prayer many times we tend to give up when the answer doesn't materialize immediately jesus told the story in the gospel of luke chapter 18 verses 1 to 7 of the widow and the unjust judge it begins thus then Jesus told them a parable about the need to pray always and not 
to lose heart verse one you see the lady wanted justice so the judge who feared neither man nor god granted her justice because this widow was persistent in seeking what she deserved and jesus concludes this parable thus and will not god grant justice to his chosen ones who cry to him day and night jesus concludes that god will quickly grant justice to them so friends i end by saying just god believe in jesus keep on praying when our way gets dark be persistent persevere and we will all come through in the end so may god bless us all and may the grace of our lord and savior jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen